Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Mod 10 preview builds on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. You've been getting a lot of requests asking to do a how-to video. I was going to hold off until more things were fixed and finally so a little bit more things were fixed which I'll go over in a review video I will make. But anyways, this would be the build as of July 23rd, um, that's the one we are about to install, which is obviously today. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, of course, you're gonna need to make sure you're rooted, have a custom recovery installed. Once you do, what you can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And once you click on the link in the description of the video, it will take you to this site. Again, shout out and thanks to my man, New Ben L for putting this together and uh, anyone else that helped him out. So be sure to thank him for putting these together for us. You'll see signs of my 10 preview builds. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and then you will actually see, uh, it says get the preview build here. Uh, go ahead and click on where it says here. So right there, you will see here. And then let that download. Uh, you can also scroll down and you will see down here there's builds, a, a list of builds right here. And what you can do is actually find the latest build. Of course, as I said, today is the 23rd. So click on this link as well. You can do that as well. Uh, download the ROMs. If you're also going to need to download a Google Apps add-on right here. So you will see G Apps right here, um, Gingerbread Google Apps add-on. That's going to include things such as the Play Store. So you're going to need it. So make sure you download this as well. So you're going to need those two zip files, the ROM itself and the Google Apps add-on. Transfer both of those zips over to your phone, whether it be internal or external storage. It does not matter, but transfer it on over and then you can go back to your phone. And once you have those zip files on your device, you're ready to go. So we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off your device. If you're running a ROM that has an option to reboot into recovery, you can obviously do that as well because all we're gonna have to do is get into our custom recovery clockwork mod. Once our phone is powered off, press and hold volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time until the first screen lights up, until it gets to a Samsung screen, and let go once it gets to that Samsung screen. And then what it should do is automatically reboot our Galaxy S3 into custom recovery, clockwork mod. And there we go. So clockwork mod right here. You will see, let's go ahead and install this CM10 preview build. It is a preview build, so keep in mind that it could potentially have some bugs, but let's, uh, here we go. So first of all, go ahead and go to backup and restore and make an Android backup. That is the first thing that I recommend for everyone to do. Go to backup and restore and make that an Android backup. Once you have an Android backup made, you are uh, ready to go. Go ahead and go down to, go to white data factory reset, press the power button and hit yes, delete all user data. So it's gonna go ahead and run through and delete everything. So make sure you have everything backed up. You need your contacts, apps, etc. And once data is done, go ahead and go down to wipe cache partition and select that and hit yes, wipe cache. Go ahead and let it format your cache, then go to the advanced menu and press the power button and then hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes, swipe Dalvik cache. And once we are done there, hit go back. Now we are ready to go, hit install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card or internal SD card wherever you transfer those two zip files on over and select them. And then go ahead and find that ROM zip itself, the one that you just downloaded, the CM10 ROM zip. Select it and hit yes, install. What it's gonna go ahead and do now is run through and install the ROM itself on your Galaxy S3. So again, it's gonna take a bit of time. I mean, CM10 actually doesn't take too long to install, but just be patient with the install process and I will be back. All right, you will see install from SD card complete. We are not done yet. We actually uh, need to install those Google Apps add-ons. So go ahead and once the ROM is done installing, go ahead and go back to choose zip from SD card and find that G Apps zip file, that G Apps JB uh, zip file. So go ahead and find that uh, Google Apps add-on and select it and hit yes, install. So there we go. So we are done now after we do this. Uh, the Google Apps add-on is gonna take a bit of time, not as long as the ROM, but it will Take some time, so let uh, those Google Apps install. And there we go, install from SD card complete. We are now done. So uh, the ROM is done installing, the Google Apps add-on is done installing. Just hit go back and then reboot system now. And there we have it. So our device is going to reboot. And once it reboots, it will be running the CyanogenMod 10 Jelly Bean ROM on our Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3, a preview build again. 
I'll be doing a review video going over things that work, things that don't work at the moment. As of today, the 23rd of July, uh, there is that uh, Sainz Jamad boot animation there. You'll see it still says Sainz Jamad 9. They haven't made an updated boot animation yet. But there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a separate review video. Be sure to check that out. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.